Let us pray that our offering of Eucharist today may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Lord, be pleased with the gifts we bring to your altar and make them the sacrament of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. In him you have renewed all things, and you have given us all a share in his riches. Though his nature was divine, he stripped himself of glory, and by shedding his blood on the cross, he brought his peace to the world. Therefore he was exalted above all creation and became the source of eternal life to all who serve him. And so, with the choirs of angels, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim this mystery of faith. When we In memory of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever.
As we prepare for communion, let us pray as Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Yes. Let us offer one another a sign of that peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those invited to communion with him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. For those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, and sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin, O Virgins, my mother, to you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, you invigorate us with this help to our salvation by this Eucharist. Give true faith continued growth throughout the world. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our risen Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Mass in the peace of Christ. Thanks. Our thanks to an anonymous donor from Scarborough, Ontario generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend. We'll be looking for you all again come Monday.